uh, where we are so far. If we go to the assignments and go to the index page, um, if you remember now, this index page is the uh, is the same home page we had originally, but now it's dynamically being injected into the content. I right? notice notice the uh, the the the, uh, the hyperlink right goes to the index.html, uh, and notice that there's a hash at the end of that URL, uh, and there is a slash at the end at the end of that hash hash sign right, and as we saw. Uh, yesterday, we have configured uh, the routing using ng-route uh, so that that particular uh, URL after, um, after the hash sign maps to the home page. Right? That's, how, that's how this home page is being uh, loaded now, right? as opposed to navigating to the actual home page.html. Right? Uh, and uh, we also added some navigation uh, using this new technique uh, to log in or, or to register. Notice that we are staying in the index page. Right? Notice that um, if we look at the network uh, traffic here, um, maybe put it to the right-hand side like this. Uh, and if we go back to uh, the login page, if we refresh, you notice that uh, all the libraries are being downloaded. Uh, some of the templates are being downloaded. Certainly, the index page is being downloaded, uh, which you'll notice that there's nothing in it, right? It just has an ng view. Uh, there's a separate call at some point for the, for the home page. See that? That home page later, after the Angular library loads, after the app.js loads, uh, after it executes, and it sees the configuration that the slash is mapped to the home page, there is a separate call later. This is done by the Angular library, the routing library says, ooh, I need, I need, it parses the slash from the, from the route, right, and it sees that it's mapped to home.html. So there's a separate call, there's a separate call for the home page, right, there's a separate call that goes and fetches the home page, um, and, uh, and we'll see that, um, it, notice that it doesn't contain, contain uh, any of the headers or footers uh, or any of the library calls, right, it's being injected into the index page that had initial, that was initially empty, okay, and it's being, added, right, if we, if we look at the page source that comes from the server, indeed, um, the, the index page is empty. Uh, but the, uh, the, the browser at some point, uh, once, once the home page gets injected, we see that inside of that uh, originally empty index page or, or view, this originally ng view was, was uh, empty, we see that the content of the home page has been dynamically injected into the DOM. Everybody okay? Right? Um, okay. Uh, uh, also notice that uh, if we start navigating, uh, let me clear this. If we start navigating uh, and uh, going over to the to the home to the login, notice that a, an additional call is made to download the login page, right? But it's being injected in the same exact index page, right? Notice the ng view. The content has been modified, right? The content of that ng view, we have removed the the home templates and we have replaced it with the content of the login templates. See that? If we go back to the login page, I mean to the home page, you notice that the v ng view again has been replaced with the uh, content of the home page. So you can go back and forth between these two and notice that the ng view uh, changes as you go back and forth between these two. Okay. Also, I just want to point out in the network. In the network, notice that the login page has been loaded. If we go back to the home page and we click on the login page, notice that there's no network activity. Right? We didn't go fetch the login the login template again. Right? Uh, the server uh, the server doesn't know that we have navigated from the home page to the login page. Right? As far as that's concerned, you have already downloaded the login templates and it's being cached on the browser side. There's no need to go fetch it again from the server, right? Uh, if we go to the register page, notice that there's a separate register uh, page uh, request from the server, right? But if we go to the login page and we try to go to the register page, notice that there is no subsequent call to the register page. See that, right? Again, it's being cached uh, on the browser. The uh, Angular is keeping track of all these templates and when to inject them, right, into the DOM at opportune times as configured by the uh, configuration, the route provider, 
right, with those slashes, right? So the, the, the route provider is looking at all these slashes, and depending on that, those, uh, those uh, uh, routes, right, it's strategically lo uh, manipulating the DOM, adding the right content at the right time. Make sense? Right? Uh, additionally, um, additionally, if, uh, if, um, uh, if we are successful at logging in, um, we, we, we showed yesterday that we can navigate to, uh, to the profile. Notice that the profile is being loaded. There it is, right? If we were successful. Uh, notice that if we log out and we log in as someone else, notice that we also navigate again to the profile page, but there is no, again, there's no subsequent call for the prof profile page, right? Even though the content is different, right? Before it was for Alice Wonderland, and now it's for Bob Marley. Right? All this is dynamically being rendered on the client. There is no intervention from the, from the server. Right? Uh, later on, when we get to uh, ne next week, when we start, uh, when we move all this data uh, you know, back into uh, uh, where it belongs in the server and perhaps even the database a little later, right, there will be subsequent calls to the, data, to the server, but not for the template. The template gets downloaded just once, the very first time. We'll go back to the server for data. Right, the data we need to fill in, right, to, you know, if, if Bob logged in or if Alice logged in, we'll need to fetch this dynamic part. This is the only thing that, that becomes dynamic, the data, right? And that's the only thing we don't have at the client. Well, right now we do, right? We, we have it hard-coded in the services, yes? Uh, but as, as we move the data where it belongs, you know, further back into the stack, right, we'll need to go fetch this from the server. Make sense? All right. Um, Okay, uh, so we are in the in the profile. Uh, let's make just one change. Um, I believe in the in the assignment we asked you to um, use uh, use a user as opposed to a profile, right? To uh, when we when we navigate it to the profile page. Yes. So let's make that one change. Uh, let's see. Uh, we um, we need to change the uh, the. Let's go into the assignment. Uh, let's go into undergrad. Uh, we'll go to the home page, and I believe the only, uh, one of the few places where it is is this profile page. Notice that this profile page now is somewhat useless, right? Because profile of who? Profile of I would need to provide some some user some user ID, right? Um, uh, so we'll come back to that a little later uh, when we are handling login and and security and be able to remember uh, the who's currently logged in. So let's leave that for now. Uh, let's see. Uh, we also need to configure the the uh, this this um, here. We need to change the uh, the routing. We're going to use change this to be user. Okay, um, and uh, the only one who's referencing this is the controller from the login page, right? So login page. Where is it? Let's see. That's in um, a login. I think it's here in the controller. I believe. Right, this is the user profile. Right, user. Uh, let's see if we broke something. Right, if we refresh, notice that this is no longer mapped to anything. There's no slash profile anything. Right, there is a user two three four. Right, so we just fixed that. Uh, but let's make sure that that the the connection from login uh, to the to the profile still works. So Bob Bob. Right, no, it goes to the user. Right, so we we fixed that. So this, this matches better with uh, what we asked you to implement for the assignment. Everybody okay? All right. Uh, okay.